You got ID on you, sir? I'm sitting there. I don't I'll need... I'll explain it to you in a minute. I don't need no ID. Okay. This video has been seen more than a million times on social media. This shows an off-duty reserve officer confronting a man who refused to identify himself. Well, tonight we know who he is and what went down during that confrontation. Our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson has more of that video and the details behind it. Steve? That video is from inside the Creekside at Meridian Hills apartment homes you see behind me. The officer tried to identify a man here in the parking lot who did not cooperate, saying he did nothing wrong. You said you do live on the property? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, uh, which, which unit do you live in, bud? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does absolutely matter. Can you please step back, though? In the video, you can hear Sheridan officer James Reynolds ask Jaquan Dean to ID himself and hear Dean refuse. After going back and forth, Reynolds called for backup from Southport police officers working part-time for Reynolds Security Consulting Corporation. There it is, Sergeant Robert Patterson, Southport Police Department. The Southport officer identified himself before arresting Dean. <laughs> Then the unexpected from Officer Reynolds. You can see him look at Dean's phone on the ground before stepping on it. It's um, you know all the social media um, outlets and all that. Um, and just to make it clear, the initial officer on that video does not or has never worked for Southport Police Department. Dean's charges are resisting law enforcement and refusal to identify. In Indiana, refusing to identify yourself is a Class C misdemeanor. Officers also arrested Dean's girlfriend, who actually resides in Creekside, according to police, for refusing to identify, resisting, and battery on a public safety official for reportedly kicking an officer. You still should just cooperate with the police. And I just asked you for identification, and because I don't know you, when I ask you where you live at, you can't give me an address where you I'm not live. about to tell you where I live. Eyewitness News shared this video with University of Indianapolis behavioral expert, Dr. Anita Thomas. Simply giving his ID, sharing information, would have been able to stop it. You're certainly looking at the police officer, the security officer, really thinking about a more sensitive way to approach him and to ask for that information. Dean is scheduled to go to court for what happened here at Creekside September 13th. His girlfriend is still waiting to learn her court date. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.